Often people ask this question, what is purpose of life? I think this is a wrong question to ask to a Buddhist. Rather, the question should be, what is life? A Zen master, a great Zen master once said, to study Buddhism is to study oneself. And to, to study oneself is to realize there is no oneself. And this is a very, I think, beautifully uh, put into a nutshell. So, as you, I hope, through my uh, small introduction, you will have a glimpse of what is life from the Buddhist perspective. It's like a, what do you call it, uh, mysterious? Absolutely not. It's something so straightforward. It can be like this, like, um, like when you shake hands, you say, like, I want to shake hand with you. And then you, you shake hand. You don't think in terms of, I want to touch your sweat. I want to touch your skin and bone. You know, we don't think in terms of parts. We think in terms of a whole unit. This is an ignorance. Also, we think, when we, when we think about our hand, we will always think, this is the same hand that I had yesterday. Right? Everybody will think like that. This is the same hand as the same hand that I had yesterday. And this will be the same hand as, uh, will be uh, the same hand in the future, like tomorrow or the next minute. But that is not the case. The hand is always, always changing. Remember? Because we are, your precious hand is also under the clutches of the Lord Yama, the time. And this makes sense because if your hand is not under the subject of time, you will not need moisturizer. <laughs> because your hand needs moisturizer, it proves that it's changing. And then not worse, it decays, it gets old, it, has, it will have wrinkles. Then finally, it will disintegrate and it will fall apart. But all along there is a hidden assumption that this is the same hand that I had it 20 years ago. So we, when we talk about the ignorance, we are talking about nothing exceptional, nothing mysterious, nothing sort of uh, mythical. We are talking about a fundamental ignorance of not knowing the truth of our existence. It doesn't matter, the hand is just an example, but every situation, our emotion, our feeling, our relationship, our values, things that we value today, we will not value tomorrow. Um, if I modify a little bit of what great Indian uh, Bengali um, uh, master Atisha Dipamkara said, you know, our value changes all the time. When we were children, we valued our dolls, our toys. Now, we, if someone breaks your toys those days, we, we go crazy. Now, it doesn't matter so much. Now we actually have renounced them. We have actually automatically become a sannyasin with a toy. I mean, most of us. Now we, now we have a new toy. We have a new, get, uh, you know, like, it doesn't matter. What, whatever, uh, fast cars, um, I don't know, uh, smartphone, whatever. By the time you reach to maybe 80 or 90, those things doesn't matter. 
then maybe it will be like a tablecloth, maybe it will be a salt shaker, I don't know, walking sticks, I don't know what, something like this. So this is how our value changes. So everything changes, but all along we never realize this. And this is what is represented by the pig. And pig is, so, pig is a really important icon in this whole thing. And pig is also the source of time and the space. Because of ignorance, because of your assumption, therefore there is time and space. This is how the Buddhists would interpret. And now, once you have the pig, the ignorance, you will always have two other emotions. Broadly speaking, hope and fear. Hope gets, uh, hope gets, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, when the hope becomes more strong and constructive, and when the hope becomes more assertive, then hope is what becomes greed, desire, attachment, which is usually represented by bird, rooster, insatiable, supposedly, I don't know why, but this is how the 2,500 years ago the Buddhists have decided that the roosters are insatiable. And then the fear, when the fear becomes, uh, what do you call it, um, uncontrollable, when the fear becomes very big, the fear becomes aggression. So that aggression is represented by snake. Paranoid, always panicky, quick in asserting things. So these three, the ignorance, desire and the anger are sort of the almighty creator of all this perception called life. 